eclipse on April the 8th will blow your mind. Jesus talks about an evil and adulterous generation in Matthew 12 who will seek a sign, but no sign will be given except for the sign of the prophet Jonah. In Luke, the 17th chapter, it says, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. So check this out. The path that the solar eclipse will take on April the 8th will literally go through a, the cities of Jonah, Texas, several towns and cities named Nineveh, and also through Rapture, Indiana, but that's not all. It will also take place under the consolation Cetus, which means the whale. My God, God is giving us signs of the hour we are in. Peace and bless all the blood ones baptized in this new covenant for mission of sins. And today, man, as you can see, beloveds, you know, we're touching the solar eclipse, which is uh, soon to be approaching, which a solar eclipse is what? When the moon blocks the sunlight, man, and the sun becomes dark, man. And there's plenty of verses that speaks about uh, the dark moon, man. I mean, the dark moon and what? The, the sun being dark, man, not giving their light. Right, which they were what created to give light, man. So this is showing you, man, the Lord. He's just getting ticked off with this this uh wicked kingdom, man. All right, and uh that's what it is, man. You know, and like you seen in the video, the guy was speaking about uh the eclipse passing through all those cities in America that has Nineveh in it, man. Right. Uh, and, and one city called Rapture. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I don't believe in coincidence, beloved ones. I believe in synchronicities, not coincidence, man. And those are what synchronicities, man. All those damn synchronicities, all right, giving you, like, like the Lord Yahweh Shai said out of his own mouth, there shall no sign be given but the sign of Jonah, man. Yeah, so... You know, the Lord Yahweh Shah said it out of his own mouth that there should no be sign given but the sign of Jonah. And what we can see that, you know, people are bringing out information claiming that the eclipse is going to pass through cities named after Nineveh, where, where Jonah was at, man. You know, rapture. That's wild, man. And the Lord speaks about what the sun being black linked. Showing you what that's a sign in itself, man. The sun going black, so the solar eclipse is a sign of the end times, man. And uh, you know, that's all it is it's a sign of the end times, beloved ones. Nothing to fear, all right, because you know, the, the, the uh, bugging out about these things that's for the other nations, right? Be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven, right? It's nothing to fear, but what it's just a, it's a great sign. All right, to show that what the beloveds is about to get out of here soon, man. All right, we pushing this new covenant beyond measure, so it's only gonna manifest, man, into what physical, man, because beloveds is pushing this thing in heart, and like the scripture says, as a man thinketh, so is he, right? So all the beloveds do is claim and think about new covenant all day. So guess what? We're gonna we're gonna physically manifest it, man, through what. The spirit of y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah, Bashim, Kakwadas, man. This is why these signs is coming, man. And a lot of people got a lot of different videos on on the solar eclipse stuff, which a lot of people tell you to pack up for food and all that. Which there's nothing wrong with uh, you know, being prepared or whatnot, right? Even what Joseph, you know, he was prepared for famine, right? So there's nothing wrong with doing that. But ultimately, that's not the end all be all, man. We got to come into this new covenant, man. Because, you know, I don't know, man. I believe a lot of people, a lot of demons are going to be summoned. And uh, people people are already bugging out. And, and, and I'm pretty sure it might have something to do with this clips coming, man. And also, people bug out on new, um, full moons when the moon is full. People, energy be getting thrown off and bugging out, man. You know? I seen a video where they're claiming they're going to have the National Guards out for this solar eclipse. Uh, they canceling people's canceling children's schools and all type of stuff, man. Because they know what? This is prophecy, man. So I want to get some verses on the solar eclipse 
in the new covenant, man, and prophecy, all right? Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, right? Which we've been seeing that happening already. And uh, the sun, and the what? And the sun became black. It became what? It became black as sackcloth of hair, man. So, you know, the beloved John the Revelator is seeing, all right, the eclipse of a sun, man, in, in his uh, new covenant prophecy, man. And the moon became as blood, which we've seen uh, that happen, man. All Last year, it was all type of blood moons. Now, what, the sun, you know, everybody's speaking about the sun's about to uh, become black, man. All right, that's sackcloth of hair. All right. Which is what? Uh, scripture, man. The, when the scriptures talk about black suns, man, the sun becoming black, right? And we know that happens through what? The eclipse, man. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9 through 10. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. To do what? Lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. See that? The Lord is about destroying sinners, man. That's why we got to repent, man. All right? For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be uh, darkened, man, and his going forth, man. This is prophecy of the sun being darkened, man. There you go, your black sun, man. And the moon should not cause her light to shine, which is what? Uh, uh, that's an eclipse, man, because when the moon, uh, when a dark moon, right, uh, goes over the sun, that, that's the eclipse right there, man. Creating what? A, a dark sun and a dark moon, man. All right? This goes into the uh, hand in hand. The Lord said he's ready to destroy the sinners, man. We got Joel chapter 2, verse 10. And down it says, The earth shall quake and before them. The heaven shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. The what? The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw the shining. And I will show wonders in the heavens and the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Right, and the sun shall be turned into darkness. Right, and the what? The sun shall be turned into darkness. And the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. <clears throat> so these are signs of the great and terrible day of the Lord, man. Joel 3 and 15. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, right? Which when the, when the moon is darkened and it, it, and it what? Um, passes between the earth and the, and the sun, it makes the sun dark, man, for a portion of time, man, which is what a lot of people are preparing for uh, coming up soon, all right, next month. Matthew 24 and 29, immediately after the tribulation, right, tribulation goes into tr trouble, of those days, Shall the sun be darkened, man? Right? So what that goes into what? The sun being darkened, man. A black black moon or uh, your, uh, solar eclipse. And the moon shall not give her light. Right? Showing you what? That's the dark moon, man. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Right? <clears throat> and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Right? And the stars falling from heaven... It's going into what? Satan's kingdom falling, man. All right. Matthew 27 and 45. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land into the ninth hour, man. Right? Going into what? The darkness for the third of the day, like it speaks about in Revelations as well. Let's keep it going. Revelations chapter 8, verse 12. And the fourth angel sounded in the third part of the sun was smitten right remember in uh the gospel 
it said that there was darkness from the what? Sixth hour until the ninth hour over all the land, right? Going into what? Uh, eclipses, man. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, right? Going into that uh, third third of the day, right? And the third part of the moon, right? And the third part of the stars. So as the third part of them were darkened, right? Going into the sun being darkened, man. And the day, and the what? And the day shone not for a third part of it, like it says. In the daytime, he said it was darkness all over all the land from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, man. That's your third part of it, man. All right? That's a glimpse of that, man. Showing you what? Those uh, eclipses, man. <laughs> All right? Just only to show the Lord's coming. It's, 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 it's getting close, man. All right? So it says, man, that the sun was smitten, man. All right? The smitten is that it was darkened, man. All right? It says, what? The day shone not for a third part of it. All right? So the, the day... Uh, turned dark, man. All right. That's the dark, dark moon, man. And what? The dark uh, black sun. The sun being black as what? Sackcloth of hair, man. So that's the one.